everybody, it's me, Myra, at Down Home Money, a simple approach to financial freedom. I hope you're doing well. Oh my goodness, it's special dividend day, and I'm excited to bring you this one is a big one. I'm so excited. You know, a lot of y'all have reached out because I've given you my email, downhomemoney at gmail, and um, I've gotten some great emails about special dividends, and I'll put a video up here just to give you an idea. If you haven't done any special dividends and you're wanting to know more information, that video will really help you. So today, I have a really big special dividend, but I want to explain something that we haven't talked about. So we've been talking about dividends that are $1.50, $3.50 a share. If the dividends, so there's some NASDAQ rules, special NASDAQ rules regarding special dividends that are 25% or more of the value of the stock. So the stock I'm gonna share with you today is a little over $17 a share and the special dividend, all right, are you ready? I mean, you guys, this is big. So the company is Laureate Education Inc. And the dividend is going to be $7.01 a share. The X date is 11-1 and the pay date is 1029. Now I want to explain to you a little bit about this. Oh, and it's L-A-U-R. L-A-U-R is the ticker. Okay, let me just share a little information about the company for you. Laureate Education Inc. engages in the provision of higher education services to undergraduate and graduate degree programs. It operates through the following segments, Brazil, Mexico, rest of the world, Andean, and online and partnerships. The Brazil, Mexico, and rest of the world segments include public and private higher education institutions. The Andean segment includes institutions in Chile and Peru. The online and partnership segments consist of online institutions that offer professional or profession-oriented degree programs through Walden University, University of Liverpool, uh, and the University of Roehampton. The company was founded by Douglas Becker in 1989 and is headquartered in Baltimore, Maryland. So you guys, let me give you their website so you can go to it and check it out. It's www.laureate.net. That's their website. Um, just to give you just a little more, I mean, I don't really have a record, uh, recovery history. You know, a lot of times I'll pull up the recovery history. So when they've had a special dividend, um, how long it takes for that dividend, for that stock to recover on the initial price it was before the dividend, I don't have that for this stock. So we'll have to see. Because as you know, when you're buying these special dividends, you have to buy before the X dividend date and you have to hold. So with these, the X dividend date is the day after the pay date. And they do that so that you hold the stock. And you can't and you don't you can't sell it because that day on the, the next day after the pay date, the stock the, on the pay date, the stock will drop the amount of the special dividend. And you have to hold it or you'll lose it on these on these that I'm giving you that are really big payers, that 25 if they're 25% or more. Um, you got to hold the stock, you guys. This company is up 27.2% uh, over last year. So the analyst ratings on it for on Vanguard, where I check the analyst ratings, it has three buys. It has nothing else, just three buys. Um, it's in the 17 range. Uh, the 30, 52 week low on it was $11.79 a share. The 52 week high is $19.02 a share. So um, I'm going to buy some, you know, I'm having fun with these dividends and I don't mind holding. So I just want to make sure you're understanding because I love the $153, $2 uh, special dividends because you can recapture pretty quick. And that is a strategy. It's a money making strategy called the capture strategy. A lot of people are doing that. They'll buy the stock like a couple days before the ex-dividend date and then sell it and then they can make their dividend. But this one's gonna be a little different because the NASDAQ rules, the special dividend rules for 25% or more are different. So you're gonna notice the X dividend date um, is the day after the pay date because you've got to hold it. 
And let me explain that a little more so that you will understand. I want to read something to you so I can uh, state it correctly. However, dividends or distributions of more than 25% are subject to special rules for ex-dividend dates. The, ma the major difference here is that for the larger distributions or dividends, the ex-dividend day is set as the day after payment, with the day of payment being the payment date. For these larger special dividends, the ex-dividend date is generally one stock trading day after the dividend payment date. The dividend payment date occurs sometime after the dividend record date the stock will trade at an X distribution basis adjusted for the amount of the dividend paid on the trading day after the dividend payment date and thereafter. To be entitled to a special dividend of less than 25% of the share price, you would need to be a stockholder on the record date. To be a stockholder on the record date, you purchase, your purchase would need to have been made a minimum of two business days prior to the record date, and you would still have to own it on that date. The ex-dividend date, i.e. the first date in which a new buyer of shares would not be entitled to the dividend, is the business day prior to the record date. In case of special dividends of 25% or more, however, special rules that that are quite differently apply. If you sell the stock after the record date, but before the X dividend date, your shares will be sold with a book entry, sometimes called a due bill, which denotes that though the company will pay the dividend to your account, if you are the shareholder of record on the date two business days prior to the record date, your account must, in turn, turn the amount of that dividend over to the buyer of the stock. Conversely, if you buy stock after the record date, but before the ex-dividend date of a large special dividend, you are entitled to the dividend and will receive it via the due bill process. As in the case of with all dividends, if you sell your stock prior to the ex-dividend date, Within the due bill period, you relinquish your right to the dividend. I've been getting a lot of emails, people saying they didn't get the dividend. So I just wanted to give you some clarity around this. The earliest you can sell your stock and still be entitled to a special dividend is the date the stock begins trading on an X distribution basis, or generally one day after the dividend payment date on the X dividend date for special ones. In simple terms, ownership on the record date, usually but not always because of the case of large special dividends, determines who is entitled to the dividend. The ex-dividend date always identifies who is ultimately entitled to receive a dividend. So I hope that helps you a little bit. I thought I would read that. I think it's important that you understand what you're doing. Um, I think that special dividends are second to none. I mean, it's a payment made by a company to its shareholders. Um, the, the, the company declares it separate from if they are paying you know, quarterly or monthly dividends. It's separate from that. And it's showing you that the company, I mean, the company's doing well. That's why they're paying these special dividends. So I just want to make sure you understand what's going on and you understand ex-dividend dates, pay dates, um, so that in record dates, you need to know those dates. They're crucial to understand so that you can take advantage of these. And this is going to be a big one. So for a stock that's $17 to be paying a $7, um, wow, that's incredible. So, but we don't know the recoveries. Most of them I can go and do research and see the recovery time. Most stocks, it can be anywhere from 10 days to 30 days. ORI that I shared with you before, ORI recovers in 8.1 days. And it just did one, you know, for $1.50. I just got uh, in my account this month as part of my dividends, uh, $2,289.91. So that's pretty exciting. So, um, but it's recovery day, it's like 8.1 days. And um, so I, it, you know, the thing is, is that I will say that it's important that you understand a few things. So these dividends that are paid out, if they're not qualified dividends, and it documents what they are, but if they're non-qualified, you're gonna pay your tax rate on these dividends. 
if they are, um, if they're not in a retirement account, if they are qualified dividends, you'll pay anywhere from 510 to 515 to 20%, which um, for qualified dividend payouts, that's what you'll pay for taxes. Um, and then that still depends. I mean, the max rate for qualified dividends is 20%, and the rate of 0, 15 to 20, depending on your taxable income and your filing status. So non-qualified is, is regular income tax bracket, whatever your regular income tax bracket is. So that's important to understand too. And, um, but I'm pretty excited. Y'all know I'm gonna buy some, because you know what? $7 and one cents, I'll take my chance. I just got in my account from JCS, and you remember I did a video on that special dividend. I bought 800 shares, and it paid, uh, I wanna say it paid 350 a share, and so I got 2,800 in my account. So now I'll just have to wait. Um, their recovery time is about 17 days. So we'll see if the special dividend, because it's a lot larger than what they've paid in the past. We'll see how long. I'm just going to hold till it recovers. Uh, I'm, you know, I'm on a hold pattern, kind of like my real estate. I bought and held, and look what happened. It paid off for me. So you know what? Um, uh, is it Warren Buffett that says, you know, you don't lose any money until you sell? So there you go. So I'm not going to sell yet, but I probably will if they don't pay a regular good dividend because I'm building, as you know, a dividend portfolio to throw me off a of passive income. I'm working towards $120,000 a year, $10,000 a month. That's what I'm doing. So that's what Down Home Money is all about. That's what this channel is about. We want to show you ways to build passive income streams, whether it's real estate, whether it's dividend investing. We show a little bit of everything here and look forward to seeing you next week. So be sure and subscribe, give us a thumbs up and I'll see you then. And remember, it's not how much money you make, it's how much money you keep and are you buying assets to throw you off a of passive income? We'll see ya.